All right, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I'm gonna say right off the bat, this is not gonna be exactly a let's play. Uh, this is a game that uh, has intimidated me and fascinated me for quite some time. It's exactly the kind of game I wanted, I've been wanting to play, which, uh, well, I mean, it's a game I want to play, which is, it involves building spaceships. You know, I, I want to do that. I, every time I watch somebody play this game, like I've watched, I don't know, hundreds of hours of this on YouTube already, just watching people play this game from, you know, when it was still in alpha and finally was on sale. I told myself, okay, I'm going to play this game when it goes on sale again for at least 40%. And today it was off for 50%. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the plunge. And for me, it is a bit of a plunge. There are friends of mine uh, who... I'm also going to try to share this video with who have felt like me that this game is just a little intimidating. Uh, it looks like something we would really like. But man, it looks so hard to get through all the physics and stuff and the interface. And I'm going to say, like, I have not played a single second of this game as I'm making it. The purpose of this video is for people like me who are like, you know, watch people play the game or even watch tutorials. But, you know, you're watching tutorials of people who, like, already know how to play the game, you know? And so it's like, well, yeah, they know how to play the game, but, you know, would I, am I going to be able to, you know, can I do this? Can I play this game and not, you know, just get frustrated or, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I like this one, trees. I am pretty sure you can import your own flag or whatever. I've seen other people do it, but um, we're just going to go with trees. Uh, the graphics look a little... I don't know. Um, I'm running this in what was called uh, KSP 64-bit. It gave me two options, play the game, and then another option was 64-bit. And I was like, well, I guess 64-bit, since my computer's 64-bit. Um, you know, we'll go ahead and start career, I suppose, because I would rather play career. I'm only going to make this one uh, episode. Um... So, yeah, sure, I will, of course, go with just normal. Um, and like I said, the purpose of this episode is just for people who are wondering if they've got what it takes. Well, I don't know if I have what it takes. So, uh, maybe this can show you maybe what to expect on your first time jumping into this game. And if it works out for me, or even if it doesn't work out for me, if you can watch and be like, okay, so this guy never played this game before, got in and was able to have some fun or not, or whatever, <laughs> I can I can do this. So anyway, um, I'm going to need to adjust the sound, I think. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around. Hold the right mouse button to move the camera or use the arrow keys. Uh, okay. Uh, right click over the Space Center facilities to view more about them and left click when you're ready to head inside. Yeah, okay. See, this is the interesting thing I think about career mode. And once they had career mode, I knew that I wanted to play this game. Because I like sandbox games, but I like sand sandbox games where you have goals. And in this one, you know, where you're making money to get better stuff to go to more distant places as opposed to a pure sandbox, which the earlier versions seemed to be to me. Um. All right, thanks, got it. Uh, again, let's look for our options, options, settings. Uh, let's see, master, let's just turn it down a little bit. Um, I do like actually playing with my games a little loud, uh, just because I like having that. But uh, anyway, for this one, uh, I'm not going to mess around with any of the videos or graphics or anything. Um, you know, uh, it, did that... Did that save? Yeah, okay. Apply, accept. Um, so I don't know what the heck I'm doing right now. So this is the very first um, challenge here. Uh, um, astronaut complex tracking station research and development. Okay. This is a very familiar screen for me, and maybe for anybody else who's been interested in this game. I, I again, I the graphics seem a little wonky to me. Like they're not like they're they seem pixely in a non-intentional way. I don't know. Um, that may be my graphics card, my graphics settings. Who knows? Maybe it's the problem with 64-bit launch. I don't know. 
Uh, hello, I'm Werner von Kerman, Chief Rocketry Engineer. This is the Vehicle Assembly Building. Here is where we build spacecraft and later roll them out to the launch pad for flight. Pretty impressive, isn't it? On your left you'll find components to construct your own spacecraft, select a starting part, then attach others to it to build a ship. Uh, you can then have a look around with RM... RMB... RMB... Right middle... with RMB or the arrow keys. Okay, right mouse... Right mouse button! Okay, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. I think I understand. Um, that's it, really. It's not as if we're rockets... Oh. Anyhow, if you need a more in-depth explanation of how to build, have a look at the training section at the main menu. So yeah, I did not do the tutorials. Um, because I also thought, like, well, you know, let's be honest, for a game like this, I just want to get in and start building stuff and having fun, especially if I've already seen other people have fun with it on the internet. Maybe that's a mistake, but again, that's part of the purpose of this video is, can you jump into this game without doing the tutorials? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot to go back and do the tutorials, but could you potentially just jump into the game? So, yeah, I got it. Um, okay. Um, okay. Looks like we don't really have a lot. Okay. Snap that right on there. Fuel tanks. Doesn't look like we have anything. Utility. Oh, we just put that on, didn't we? Command and control, pods, yep. Alright, well I guess we just let's put an engine on it. And uh, aerodynamics. Now, uh, so there's the left mouse button. What's this do? Reroute, move, place. Now, I know I've seen online there's ways to uh, like, you know... Oop, well, okay, so we've stuck one on. So, whoa, okay, and it's not even at the right angle, so... How do we delete that thing now? Okay, we just took it off. Um cutting edge of aerospace engineering, but it's dirt cheap and make us slightly less unstable. So again, we're just building a thing here. That doesn't look like it's on quite right to me. Um, Whoopsie daisy. Um, there must be a way. Let's press F1. Nope. I'm sure this is like in the tutorial. So like I said, again, just uh, just checking to see what we can do without going to the tutorial. Um, so I may do that later. Or just Google it. You know, you can always Google. Um, okay, uh, okay, well, I think we're just not going to worry about the, um, airplane for the moment. Okay, so, there we go. Now, um, I think, untitled spacecraft, we'll call this the boop. There we go, and save it, I guess. V A B S P H. Again, probably more stuff to learn in the tutorial. Oh, symmetry count. Oh, isn't that cool? There we go. I think that there is answering our question about how the thingies go on. Now, Toggle snap? Yeah, we want that snap on there, don't we? 
Um, about like that. Look at that. That thing is gonna go straight up. That looks that looks awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Um, crew. Uh, okay. Uh, Jebediah Kerman. Okay. Build mission flag. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. Contracts. None. Engineers report. Seven out of three parts. Um, 2.48 tons. Okay. Show severity. Uh, parachute on first... Parachute will... Vessel has one monopropellant container, which is not used by or connected to anything that requires monopropellant. Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, parachute, engine, parachute on engine stage. Oh, okay, I think that, uh, I think what they're trying to tell me is that like, hey, your parachute's attached to an engine. Is that what you really want? Well, I, I think so because I don't have any other option with you know what I'm building. You know what I mean? Um, girder. I don't know what I'm going to use a girder for. Uh, parachute on first stage. This parachute will activate in the first staging group. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, okay. Staging group. There we go. So, yeah, we don't want the parachute to activate at the same time as the engine. I believe that's what it's, sh what it's saying. Right? Yeah, and now that went away. I, I don't know how the uh, staging things work. I just know that, like, I, I think these are things that will activate separately. Okay, come on, let's, uh, let, let's, uh, leave. So I know we need to get contracts. So we were just at the assembly building. Um, research and development. Do we have any? We don't have any research. Or do we? Not enough science, right? Okay. Um, let's leave that facility. Tracking station. Oh yes, this is the tracking station facility, and here you can view all the solar system as well as current positions and trajectories of all ongoing missions. Uh, when you have missions in progress, you'll see them listed on the panel at your left, and you'll be able to take command of them from this screen. Sometimes contracts may require specific destinations in orbit or the surface. Those will also be visible from here. Lastly, if you want to see this same map view during flight, just hit the M key. Okay, got it. Um, let's leave that facility. Space plane hangar. I know that's where we build aeroplanes. Can we make any airplanes? I don't really think we can. Ooh, science. Mystery goo. Oh, we have that? Okay. Well, let's go back to our uh, thing here and uh, just because we can. Uh, can we put this on our spaceship? Oh, interesting. You can. Uh, Well, I don't know how this is going to affect its center of gravity or its, uh, you know, stability in flight, but yeah, I don't know. Like, having the top have this on there, who knows, maybe it would give me a normal, like, the, the thing's got to kind of arc when it goes into space. I know that. Um, whether it's going to be arcing the right way or not, who knows. Eh, let's just put it on there. All right. So uh, our, our spaceship has a mustache. Okay. This is, I, I have a feeling this is a very bad idea, but uh, that's, that's what I'm going to do. 
Oh, and was there anything with the mystery goo as far as... Right, okay. Unused monopropellant resource. I, yeah, again, I don't understand that, but whatever. Um, all right. So we only got, like, the astronaut complex. Uh, okay, I don't think we need any astronauts. Administration building. There we go. Uh, research rights sell out. Hmm. What is this? Not enough science, not enough reputation. Uh, we could make a quick buck from sci from the science the R&D team has collected by selling exclusive research rights to the highest bidder. Yes, that means we wouldn't be able to make use of the science ourselves. Oh, I see. Oh, and I think the, the green ones just mean this is what we can do. Okay, well, we don't need to do any of that, I don't think. Administration, research and development... Space plane. Well, okay. Administration. Astronaut complex. Flagpole. Hmm. Okay. Uh, launch pad. Mission control. Where is mission? Oh, there it is. Okay, mission control. Um, launch our first vessel. Okay. Uh, it's no secret that we were getting nowhere near figuring out if we... Clear, clearly couldn't come up with our next move. That said, for the chief bookkeeper passing by Kerbin World First's record-keeping society, that was simply okay. Admittedly, the amount of time um, would be unintended ignition and was really part of the reason, be that as it may, as a result of that apparently incredible chain of events, this is why we're here. We'd like to officially start the space program with a bang, a very controlled bang. Uh, prestige is trivial. Expires three days. Uh, launch your first vessel off of the launch pad or the runway to achieve this goal. <laughs> yeah, it should be easy. Uh, and we'll get a little bit of stuff. Okay, we'll accept that one. Um, from uh, Collect scientific data from Kerbin. Uh, give us a quick crew report before launching. It's fine if any of the lights on the control panel are flashing. Just give it a swift kick. Okay, quick crew report before launching. Okay, we'll see how to do that. Escape the atmosphere. This seems pretty self-explanatory. Um, altitude of 70,000 meters. Okay. Oh, can we not... Can we not take this one? Well, okay. Oh yes, active contracts two and the maximum is two. Okay. Um, well then, I think it's time we uh, launch our spaceship. All right. Now, <laughs> there is an issue here. I have no idea what the commands are. Uh, flight interface. M mode controls. Um, yep. Yeah. Precision mode, docking mode, staging stack. Um, helps you visualize the vessel's current and upcoming stages. Um, empty stage. Right. Add stage. Okay, interesting. Um, active stage resources. Okay, the altimeter. Um, when landed on Kerbin, we can recover. Uh, landing gear toggle, lights toggle, abort. <laughs> Altitude, yes. Brakes toggle, ve vertical speed indicator, okay. Uh, time controls and action menus. Using the time controls, you can adjust, yeah. Um, and I think we just click on the parts to do stuff. App launcher. Uh, messages where important career events are shown. 
a resource shows resources in your vessel uh, contracts app right uh, currencies app okay okay uh, Kerbal portraits EVA examples um, we'll look at that on the fly uh, controls general controls there we go that's what we want right all right, so that's for the camera. Uh, right. Okay. Map and time. Right. Time warp. Deep, right. Flight directions. Right. Uh, okay. General flight. W pitch forward, pitch back, yaw left, okay, good, roll, roll, good, throttle is left shift, okay, control, left control sh uh, is down, and Z is max, okay, I think that's all we need to start off with is, I think all we need to know is Z, alright, so, um, launch, Oh, that just set the throttle. Okay. Let's set it down to there. Okay. Okay. EVA. Is it, uh, can you do a crew report? Whoops. EVA report. Um, sure. Transmit it. All right. Okay. All right. Hmm. Um, I don't think we can get back in the spaceship. Hmm. Oh, here we are. Recover the vessel. Okay. All right. Next. Okay. Done. Did we uh, did we satisfy that? Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Did we satisfy that uh, contract? Yeah. All right. Well, how about that? I don't think we're going to try to orbit Kerbin, but how about we try to uh, also escape the atmosphere? Okay. So, again, let's go back here and maybe maybe we should look at our science. Do we have um, do we have science available to do we have enough science to do something here? Um, it looks like it. Engineering. Uh, science Junior. Communicatron. Stack Decoupler. Mm-hmm. And then over here we have what? Solid Fuel Booster. Fuel Tank. Let's get that. Whoops. Well, we can only get one or... We can only get one of these, huh? Well, okay, let's uh, research this one. And then I don't... Can we research this one, too? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, let's go back to our vehicle assembly. And, um... Can we... Can we, uh... Okay, yeah, we can break that off and, uh... Go to our... 
And... Oh, do we not have... Fuel... Yeah, there we go. Okay, how about that? Um... Flea. Is that what I'm using right now? Okay. How about we... Uh, how do I decouple... How do I... How do I... Okay, it's a clicky thing you do. And... Okay, and then use the delete key to actually... Uh, delete it. Okay, sorry. Okay, there we go. And, um... Yeah, okay, so what's this say here? Crash tolerance 7, 7, 7, okay. I think that's like, you don't want it to be going too fast above that or else it's going to take damage and get destroyed or something. Thrust and, and vac. I'm not sure what those mean. I'm sure that if I look it up, I'll find out. Oh, vacuum. Vacuum, probably. Thrust in a vacuum. Um, for what we're doing, maybe we just want to go up. And, uh, yeah, I think maybe we just want to go up. And, uh, not, uh, anything else. You know, just, uh, go up pretty far. And we're going to be mostly in the atmosphere. And then once we leave the atmosphere, we're, we're going to be fine. So, snap. And, uh, I think we want these fins near the bottom. Alright, and uh, we'll save this again as the boop, okay, let's leave, or, okay, launch pad, go to boop on launch pad. Okay, this is the old boop, we don't want the old boop. Um, Recover it. Okay, and we got everything back, I think. And our science is still the same as it was, right? Yeah. Okay. So, here, here we go. This is going to be f for real. This time. Launch this vessel. All right, um, there's our throttle, which we can push up or down using just the controls. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we, we don't want these in the same action group, do we? Zero. Zero, one, two. Uh, how about that? Okay. Who knows what's going to happen now? But, uh, let's, uh, launch the vessel somehow. Um, okay. Activate engine. Oh, oh, wow, there we go. Okay. And as you can see, I think we're tilting a little bit. Um, we should. We're not. We don't have a good center of gravity with the uh, science thing there. Oh my god, I think we're running out of. I think we're running out of fuel very quickly. Um, we ran out of fuel very quickly. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we need to deploy our parachute after we stop accelerating up too high. It's in the red, so I think that might be 
I think that means that's not a good time to use it. Okay. Well, we, we shot ourselves into space. Um, let's observe the mystery goo. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep the experiment. So we'll get more science if we don't transmit it. But I think we keep keeping it means um, we're going to you know, we only have a certain amount that we can keep on the spaceship itself. Um, keep it. Reset. Review data. Reset. Okay, is that just doing the same thing? Oh boy, okay, I think we got a problem here. Um, whoa, that was definitely... Okay, go... Oh, 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 okay, yeah. We just don't... I don't want us to, like, start nose diving. Um, I'm not getting out of this thing with my astronaut, that's for sure. Okay, we're still going up. See, this is a nice thing about the fins, maybe? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, having some angular momentum should stabilize us a bit. Wow, we really shot into space. <laughs> Uh, um, internal view. What can we see here? That's all we see. That's all. Okay. Uh oh. How do we get out of the internal view here? Resume flight. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do I get out? Get. Get me out of this. Uh oh. No. Oh God. Uh. Oh. Oh boy. How do I get out of my internal view here? Um. Um. Oh God, what's happening? We need to get out of internal view. How did we? Okay, relax, relax. Okay. Don't panic. Okay. Okay. Um. There's got to be a way to get out of here. Space Center settings. No. Help me. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, alright. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. How do I... All I needed to do was just get out of the stupid... Um... View. How do I get out of this dumb view? Hmm. What am I missing here? I mean, now that we've crashed, I don't feel as much pressure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Activate next stage. Good. Mode buttons. Staging. Man, I don't even remember what I pushed now to go into that um, view. Yeah, I know how that works. What I'm simply looking for is how 
how could I have gotten back to my external view so that I could have tell, told, you know, that the planet impact was imminent. Uh, no, controls, general controls, right, flight directions, general flight, right, flight activities ah this the the old C um, I think we can't recover or anything vessels destroyed cannot okay right um, oh man okay whoops resume flight I'm not gonna give this thing up I'll tell you that we crash this thing. We're gonna make it. Okay. Um. So I think that was our problem there. RCS in time. Docking mode. Right. EVA. Right. Editor. No, no. Management screens. Uh, well, hmm. Um, how do I, how do I just, the vessel is destroyed, right? How do I, uh, how do I go back to the station? we just uh, do this the hard way? <laughs> no. Apparently not. Oh, man. Right. That's fine. I'm fine with the vessel being destroyed. How do I go home? How do I get here? Right. I mean, it's crashed, okay. Can we just go can we just go back? Um Hmm. There we go. What am, what's wrong with me? You just go back to the space center. Duh. Ah. Okay. So, um well, we got some other pilots and stuff, so I think we're fine. And now let's go to our science thing real quick. Um, where was that? Research and development. Okay, so we got a bunch more science now. Um, let's go ahead and let's get the science junior thing because it looks cool. And it has a decoupler and, and there's parachutes we can get. Uh, heat shield might be good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Heat resistant service bay. RCS tanks, batteries, etc. Okay, I'm not sure how that's going to work. We have nose cones and, 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 um, decouplers and more engines. Let's go with, uh, we can get all three of these, or, well, I guess we can't. We can get two of them. Well, let's go for survivability, since we didn't survive our last one. Oh, we need 15 science. We don't have that. We don't have 18 science. We don't have 20 science. Okay, I guess we've got everything we can get then. Sorry. All right, let's, let's do one more try, 
because now I now that I understand that uh, you know um, now that I understand what happened there let's just delete all this stuff okay and yeah that's the only one we got that's fine um hmm wait a minute what I thought we just uh, I thought we just researched a bunch of stuff didn't we didn't we just research a bunch of stuff didn't we just unlock oh just a decoupler okay and then oh we only unlocked one thing okay never mind we're f that's fine that's fine Whew, oh man, I don't know. Um, well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go back to my old or my my design then. Um, yeah, and uh, th this time, um, how do I zoom out here? I want to zoom out, you guys. Uh, how do I zoom away from this? This is too close to me. Um, how about we, uh, well, whatever. Let's, uh, we can still work with this, right? Can we, can we, uh, uh. It's very annoying. Okay. Fine then. New. Why? Why is my camera so close? Ah, oh boy. Max thrust. I really don't know which one's better. I would assume the hammer. It's much heavier, isn't it? I guess we just need a lot more fuel tanks. So let's try three fuel tanks. And, um,. The hammer. And, uh, once again, no, 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 no. Use this to figure out. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, boy. Click that right on there. And we'll call this the boop boop. For now. Okay. Leave. Let's check out our... Oh, we're not going to go into... I'm not going to mess with trying to go into orbit. Are you crazy? Let's just... Uh, let's... Uh, can we delete these? Yes. Yes. There's the boop. There's the boop boop. And uh yep, let's uh let's launch this thing. Do we need a pilot? Do I need to sign a pilot? Well, let's uh let's put the throttle a little lower than we did last time. A uh, Valentina Kerman. Wait. There we go. Okay, thank you, C. What's this? Oh, it just shows her in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Whoops. Um, eh, whatever. We'll just go with her. I mean, how hard is it to sit in a rocket that goes, Oh, we do not have a parachute. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Um, space Center. No, no, no. Ugh, what's wrong with me? No. New. No. no, leave. Oh my god, this is so... Uh, not sure. <laughs> what to think. See, now we're zoomed away from it. Why does it... I don't know why. I don't know either whether one parachute's going to be able to stop all of this downward spiral stuff. You know what? I... Ah, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it. I have an alternative idea if that doesn't work, but I'm not going to do it on camera because, like I said, this is just to see how far can you get with absolutely no knowledge. Clear the launch pad and proceed. Recover the boop boop. Yes. And, uh, crew. Okay. Bill Kerman is an engineer. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. Sure, Bill. Um, like I said, again, how how hard can it be? You just you you have a throttle and that's about it. I mean, if I can do it on the keyboard, surely you can do it in space with throttles and such. Uh how's our Oh yeah, we don't want to do it that way, I think. Alright. Um activate the engine. It really, really eats up that fuel. I don't know. Wow, we're already out of fuel. I don't even know if we're going to get as high as we did last time. Um... I don't think we are, but let's see what happened this time. Last time we uh, we got out of the spaceship and that didn't work. Or I mean, we we went into the cockpit and I couldn't figure out fast enough how to get back out of the cockpit to deploy my parachute. So we're not going to let that happen this time. Let's see if this parachute can actually, uh, you know, stop all this weight. These are really small fuel tanks. I, I don't know what I feel about them. Just tapping the keys a little bit, trying to keep my rocket pointed up. Yeah, let's see how far up it goes. Um, and now we are dropping... Well, let's uh, deploy our parachute, please. No, uh... Okay, activate the parachute. No, no, oh my god, oh my god. Deploy... How do we deploy the chute? I, like, at this point, I would be happy just to get it to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do the shoot. Please. Oh my god. Why why does the parachute not work? And please get this get the camera so that I can see my my parachute. Parachute. Min pressure altitude. Oh, okay. We just need to get down to Okay, I see. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think the parachute's going to work if it's, um... Unsafe to deploy. Okay. I don't think it's going to be safe to deploy at any point. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, well... That's what it looks like. Um, so, 
that's my best effort with absolutely no tutorial uh, no nothing this is this is what's happened um, I think I'm gonna go back and play the tutorials but uh, yeah if this looks like something you think you can handle um, yeah wow shoot destroyed by arrow forces and heat maybe if I'd waited a little bit longer but I was just like come on no just get it out just in case but maybe I should just wait a little bit longer but no I don't think it would have worked out uh, anyway yeah if you're watching and you're like can I possibly play this game or is it too hard well maybe you can't make a decision yet but uh, you know I'm sure I'm gonna I'm gonna try to come back and learn how to play this game and and uh, yeah if yeah, I don't know what to say. Like I said, for me, I was just like, how hard is it to, like, if I could at least get my guys off the ground, maybe that'll be fun. So, hopefully, that, hopefully that seems, whoa, that's interesting. Um, okay, well, we can just do this, right? Space Center. Uh, you can revert your flights to abort, but, I mean, what's the fun in that? I think you should have to live with the consequences. Um, yeah, there we go. So, hmm. Kerbal Space Program, launching a rocket into space, uh, you know, small steps at a time. I couldn't even get it into space, but uh, we did get some research, and, and uh, I was able to put, get my guy to walk out on the launch pad, and he got some science, and, and I, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah. Don't be afraid, perhaps, or, or be very afraid. One of the two. I'm not sure. There you go. And uh, that's going to be my one-off kind of like let's look at from the point of view of somebody who has absolutely no idea going into this game and yeah don't know if it's going to be of any use to you or not but uh, it's something I wanted to try and I've tried it so I guess you don't have an excuse not to try it either thanks for watching bye bye